Hi everyone, thanks for joining today. I have uh, what's gonna be a very exciting video for most of you because I get a lot of questions from brand new investors. Uh, so I've been interacting with Samantha Lati for, for some time now and she, she's, she hasn't done a deal yet. We'll just get that out of the way, but she's done a lot of work, uh, probably been overwhelmed by all the information out there. And I thought we would just step back and really go through a series of questions I would go through with any new investor. So if you're watching this and you're a new investor, I'll be asking Samantha questions, but pretend like I'm asking you the questions and, and see how you would answer them. So, uh, so Samantha, thank you for taking some time today. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for doing this. I know it could be a little nerve wracking, but I promise to be gentle and it'll be, it'll be hopefully okay. a little bit of fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So the first thing I, I'd want to talk to you, Samantha, you know, if you were coming to me for coaching or advice or anything is I, I need to understand um, I call it your why. It could be your reason or your wh whatever you want to call it. But but why is real estate in investing important to you? Is it is it this whole, you know, some people are all about the money. Some people want freedom. You know, I, I always have to start with why real estate investing. Um, I've been interested in real estate investing for many years. Um, and the why is basically just the freedom. Um, I, I am a business owner. I have some freedom with that. Um, but there's still quite a bit of things that I have to make sure are taken care of, um, which I know comes with any type of job or career. But um, I just want to be able to have the freedom to um, go out, do the things that I'm wanting to do, uh, spend more time with my grandkids and my children who don't live in the area. And um, just have some financial freedom and a retirement, something I don't really have at this time. So um, just wanting to work towards something that I've always been interested in and um, to see, you know, I don't know. I just, that's basically why is, is just the freedom of, of having and doing something that I think that I would enjoy very much. Yeah. That, that's it. That, you know, when I talk to people about their why, what I'm, what I'm searching for, what I'm looking to hear back from them is, is kind of one of two things. Are they the type of individual that's, that, that's going to get attracted to real estate investing like Bitcoin or dot-com stocks back in the day? And that's not you. So that, that's a very good thing, right? Your why is tangible. It, that freedom uh, means you're willing to work for it and put in the investment. So, so that's good. Because some of the people I talk to are like, you know, they see these wholesaling videos and they just, they, they see the stacks of cash and they, you know, they're going to be gone tomorrow. Those are the people I don't want to talk right. to. I just waste my right. time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. And then, so when you talk about um, the real estate investing, have you, have you sort of found what you think might be your thing? And what I mean by that, is it flipping? Is it buy and hold? Is it, you know, uh, private lending, right? There's kind of, when you get started, you know, one of the things you need to do is focus. And have you found that focus yet for you, you think? Um, you know, everybody uh, would watch, not everybody, some people watch those flip shows and just are just, just so excited aesthetic about, you know, taking something that is old, run down, making it beautiful, making it your own. And I was intrigued by that years ago and, and thought, gosh, I want to do that so much. And um, I, I don't know if it's just about the flip part of it anymore. Now it's more like, cause now I'm a little bit older and now it's getting to, oh gosh, now I have to start thinking about retiring. And so I am interested in flipping and um, it is still the um, excitement of seeing something turn out so beautiful at the end, but also at the same time, I've been really interested in um, buy and holds. Um, I've been checking out, um, you know, multi family mm -hmm. places, but not big, of course, because I haven't done it before, but I was thinking, you know, starting small, but um, still doing the flips, doing some buy and holds, but at the same time, I've always been interested in, um, well, not always. I just recently started being interested in, in, you know, making it a goal at the end, just doing the private lending as well. And yeah. after I watched the video I watched this morning, it was just that much more interesting to me. Um, but I know that's a little ways off, but that, that would be my end, end goal yeah. is to have some buy and holds, but also um, private lend as well. Yeah, I think uh, and the video I believe you're talking about is, is April Crossley. And, um, yes. you know, I think that kind of model is one that, that 
I recommend for most folks, right? She does. She would call herself a flipper. I believe she would acknowledge mm -hmm. that, right? She says she did 15 this year, looking to do 30 next year. But for her, she's treating it like a job, right? She, mm -hmm. she, that's her job. And then what she does on right. the side, which came up just subtly in a couple of conversations we had was she's buying multifamilies is kind of the buy and hold. And she, she said at the end, she's going to hold those for, for a long time. So, yes. uh, and then ultimately, mm -hmm. right. She sort of wants to exit the flipping business unless it's totally on autopilot, which it, it, that's tough to do, but maybe and private mm -hmm. land. So, um, yeah, I value that. So really where this comes down to is, you know, you have, you have a demanding job, right. As a business owner, right. So flipping is, is yes. tough, not impossible, but tough. Um, yes. Right. So that we just have to watch the time value, time value of money and your return on time and cover your risks. Um, you know, so, so the main thing that I've been really, really ha having trouble with is time. Yep. Uh, the job that I have is demanding. Um, I have a lot of hours I put into it. I work late some nights and you know, I just, I don't know if it's an excuse or if it's really true. Do I have time? Do I not have time? Um, and um, so that's been my biggest struggle. I, um, I liked some of the things that April did mention in her video. I mean, her video just spoke to me extremely. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed it. And um, it's, it's just, how do you... I don't know. And I have raised my kids, so I don't even have that excuse. So I just, I'm just trying to figure out how do I juggle this full-time, you know, career that I've had for 20 years yeah. and start, you know, breaking into something different. I'm just not sure. I haven't figured that part out yet. And maybe, um, again, the overwhelm part of it is coming at me and it's like, you know, I'm just making it bigger than it really is. Yeah. To, so. to her point, to April's point, and we talked, April and I talked after the video, the recording stopped. And it is that you, you've, you've almost got to simplify it, right? So let's, you know, just for mm -hmm. example, right? One thing we might be able to do for you is to create a target of a, a, a single family home or maybe a duplex, you know, maybe something residential, right? So four units or less. Um, right. And then maybe what we could do is, you know what, maybe the right thing for you is to go after something that's, that needs some work, maybe not a total slumlord, you know, model, you know, that's not lived in because that's maybe too big, but maybe something that's been, a, you know, lived in for a while, maybe is under rented. Because then you could get a feel for adding value, right? Um, raising rents, right? You get you get your feel of a landlord, and you know that that's something to do. Realize that that takes more cash, as I've talked about in some of the videos, right? Because you're not financing the repair costs, so the the repairs as they occur over time would come out of your, your income or savings. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But that might be a way. Uh, you know, you, we basically got to get your target smaller. So it's not right. all the shiny object right. problems. It um, is huge. Yes, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Okay. Because all this information is out there. Bigger pockets. I'm on, you know, I read stuff all the time on that. I'm reading different blogs, like I said, and, or like you mentioned, and um, it's, yes, it's just that, that's part of it. I'm just, I'm reading and reading and reading and not taking any action. I've got yeah. all this going on. Okay. Where do I start? Where do I start? And um, so th that, uh, and it, and it, I started doing this after I went to um, a three day seminar. Yep. Of the, the guru wanting yep. you to, you know, buy into their $20,000 program. And they almost had me. So, I mean, seriously, because it's, it's, it's like, gosh, there's so much information out there and they know everything. And yeah. oh my gosh, well, I got excited about it. But, um, you know, it's just that, um, I've, I've just read and read and read from there and right. I became so overwhelmed. But I just, I stopped for a year. I didn't right. do anything. And it, and it's disappointing because you have this goal you're working towards yeah. and you totally back out of it and it's, it's you're your worst enemy. So yeah. I, I just didn't get anywhere and here I'm starting up again, trying to find my way. Yeah. So let's, and let's create the goal here at least, at least for the rest of the year and we'll see if it sticks into January. I want you only focused on, um, you know, let's, let's look at multifamily. So that'd be a duplex, triplex, or a quad. So two, three, or four units. So let's not look at houses for now. Let's, let's do small multis because you can get residential lo lo lending, the best rates, 30 year money. And then let's look at two different categories so we can figure out what the right fit for you. Let's look at the turnkey ones, meaning they're perfect, um, rented at market, right? Let's go get some numbers, right? Price points, rents, repairs, all of that right? We're going to give you real homework. 
And then let's look at that same, same two, three, and four units, uh, lower class, right? So instead of maybe a B or A property, let's look at a C. Just so we can get a feel, what's a better return? What are you more comfortable with? We have to take your, we have to take your focus and make it tangible because you're willing to do the work. You're clearly yes. investing the time. Yes. Somebody just needs to tell you to get smaller <laughs> and only right. Right there. everything else goes away. Condos go away, townhomes yeah. goes away, big apartments, private lending. Yeah. Nah, stop it. We're, we're, <laughs> there's your right. focus for you know, the rest of the calendar year. And let's try to build a list of you know, 10 or 20 properties uh, and then share it with me and then we, we can talk about it because um, I think that's going to get closer to action because right now you can, it's not an excuse, it's a fact, right? You can, you can just get tied up in these little knots and, and, you know, just time is spent. You're not, you're not taking action. So, right. so let's, let's get that tight focus. You know, let's only look at two, threes and fours. And I guess the next question for you or for us, me and you is, do you do it local or do you look out of state? Do you have any thoughts right. on that? Um, well, because of being new, mm -hmm. I just been looking local. I have been doing that and I've been doing direct mail. Okay. Um, some on um, properties that I think might look like they need, need help. Yeah. And yeah. So, and I did that. I didn't get any responses, but you know, it was a start and I was pretty excited. I even did that. So. Yeah. You're taking action. You're yeah, that's awesome. Taking a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Um, and, um, I know I read it all the time. Don't get discouraged. Don't, you know, don't give up because you don't hear from those first 20, yeah. 30, hundred people, but yeah. Um, I will admit it was a little saddening and yeah. um, I haven't done any letters since, but at the same time, gosh, I just, I know down deep inside, I'm not going to get anywhere unless I keep moving. So yeah. I was thinking just sticking with local for now. Okay. That's uh, fine. And local for you is so where? Grip, Sorry. Lo just so I have a grip of it, you know, doing yeah. out of state. I don't know if I could do that. No, I, 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 I totally agree. Local is the answer, but you never know, right? Some, be, some people I talk yeah. to are in New York City or, you know, the Bay Area. It's like, well, local's not an option for us. So, right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I forget, what market are you in? Uh, where am I at? Located? Yeah, located. In city. Oregon? Oregon, yeah. Uh -huh. right. Yeah. Yeah. So what, I would, so what we need to do, so local is the best answer because you can drive it, you can feel it, you can touch it, you can really right. meet people. Um, I think if you, I think seriously, if you went out and just created a list of 40 duplex, triplex, and quads, some of them could be listed. Actually, all of them could be listed because what we need to do now is we need to build a foundation. I call it homework. Um, so that when you go look at 40 properties, you can rank them from best deal to worst deal, right? Right. This is, this is overpriced. This is underpriced. And what that will give you is the, net, the 41st duplex or tri or quads you see, you'll be able to rate it how good a deal is. And my goal for myself was only to buy stuff that was in the top 10%, right? Those are the only ones I would look at. So if I found one that was in the, you know, the half, I just would, I would wait. Um, or I would offer a, I would offer a price that made it one of the better deals just because it's listed for 199 doesn't mean you have to offer 199, right? right. But we have to build mm -hmm. your foundation. So if we make your goal, duplex tries and quad, your responsibility is to go look at 40, not necessarily look at like drive to them, but build a list out of the MLS, maybe go see a few, do some, have realtor walk you through if, if you're comfortable doing that. And then mm -hmm. let's build that foundation, right? Here's the price point. Here's the down payment. Here's the, um, you know, expected rents. Here's the expected expenses. Then what that will do, I did a video on this months ago. We, I'll find it, but it basically produces a yield. And then for me, that's how I rank all my properties, right? Here are, the, mm. here are the 40. Let's sort by that column. This is the best deal. Here's the worst deal. And then, th then we can have a conversation. And that's, that's going to take you a long way, I think. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah be um, mm -hmm. I'm not the, the numbers. Sure. And, you know, I, I'm, I've got it to a certain extent, but I... Um, that's the only thing is, is knowing if it's a good deal or not for sure. You know, yeah. that I'm a little bit stuck on that one. But. So let's, let's talk about that. So the number, so which numbers? So, um, like knowing if the property is worth what it's asking, um, oh, okay. you know, um, then fi trying to figure out, um, well, I guess that would be the basic start is, is is yeah. this worth that? Because I don't know enough about real estate to know, well, is that worth the price? How do exactly. I know for sure? 
this, you this know, is, and then, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And then talking to a real estate agent, how do you know what side they're really on? Is it your side or, or the seller side? You know, I just, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit skeptic, but yeah. I'm just not sure about how to know if that is really a good deal. So that you, what you have just, that, that apprehension is exactly the thing we're trying to fix with this homework assignment. I'm not telling you to go buy one of these 40. I'm telling you to go yeah. look at 40 properties so that when you're done with this exercise, you can, you can basically intelligently show me or any of your friends, hey, I saw these 40. Let me tell you why the top three are the best deal and why the bottom one is the worst deal. And what that gives you is confidence and then allows you to answer questions. Like if I see the spreadsheet, I may ask a question that says, oh, I didn't think of that. Or, or whatnot, but it'll just give you more and more confidence. So when you see the 41st property, you're, you're, you're better off. You're not relying on somebody else's opinion or a list price or any of that stuff. Okay. The reason I'm fast at what I do is because I've been looking at, at 50 properties online a day for 10 years. And now I can mm -hmm. go through and go, mm -hmm. oh, that's, that, hey, that number looks different. Let me look at that one. Um, mm -hmm. And that's where we have to get you because when you sort of look at everything, you never build a strong foundation. It has lots of cracks in it and you, you rely on other experts, which is your money. So don't ever rely on an expert, uh, yeah, yeah. a realtor or any of that. Um, yeah. So that's, 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 the, we need to fix that. We first create a tighter scope, which we just did. Now you have to, your job is to execute the homework. Um, and, and I've had students or people just send me files and then we just, we talk about them. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's your homework. You have to go build that file of 40 properties. You know, the, at the, you know, the at one, two, three main street, fourplex, uh, 3,200 rent, you know, taxes, this insurance, that, and then you just keep building. And then the last column is going to be your expected yield. And that's how you know it's a good deal. The purchase price means nothing. Okay. Okay. It's still, almost still relevant, right? I, I would pay two X for a property. If an owner is going to finance it for 0% and delay payments for 30 sure. years, right? It just doesn't matter. Sure. Right. Sure. So th those are things we get, we get, we can start playing with uh, once you build a foundation and then you can always go in and go, Hey, this property just got listed at 199. I think it's worth 189, but I'm going to take a shot at 175 because it's kind of like this other property. And it's just, it just gives you, it gives you control um, instead mm -hmm. of relying on anybody else. Sure. And the more confidence a person has, the better they, yeah, I get that. And that's what I do need to work on is the confidence I need to, be able to walk in and say, Hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is what yeah. I'm willing to do. What are you going to do for, you know? Yeah. I get that. The confidence part. <laughs> yeah. and, that's and, that's, that, and, and again, you, uh, the good news for you is the way you build confidence in real estate investing. It's not a secret. It's just going out and looking at a lot of property. The reason mm -hmm. April was very confident or Pamela a few interviews ago was very confident mm -hmm. is because they looked at a lot of stuff, right? I, I'm right. sure uh, I'm sure April will tell you she looks at hundreds of deals before she even makes an offer on one. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and she's not relying on anybody, right? She comes in, she knows sure. the numbers. She probably has an agent write them up and do all that paperwork nonsense. I guarantee you she's calling the shots in the numbers. Sure. So let's, yeah. let's have you build that same experience. <laughs> Does that make right? sense? Yes. Okay. So we have your goal. We're going to look at duplexes, triplexes, and quads. You have a homework assignment. Hopefully by, let's call it since the holidays, middle of January, to build a list of 40 or so properties. Okay? Accountability. I yes. love that. I'm trying. Honest. Yes, because that, I, I will, um, I'm very competitive. Um, very so cool. when somebody holds me accountable to something, I've got to do it. And nice. I, I love that. Yes. Okay. I'm waiting. For, so, so, so do you want January 1st? Is that what I just heard you say? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> January. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on the middle of January. Okay. okay. I'll work faster as I get better. No, yeah, no, that's, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Okay. So that's good. So we're going to, we're going to take all this extra time you have, cut it down, look at duplexes, tries and quads. We're going to build in your back backyard, a list of 40 properties by January 15th. I like that. And I just summarized that just because anybody else is watching and you have your own homework assignment because yours might be houses or yours might be apartments. But don't forget, this is, right. this is for everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so we sort of talked about what you've already done, sort of a, a lot of reading and researching, I would call it. Um, you've done a class or a course uh, uh, on something. Um, what, so besides time, do you have any other sticking points besides confidence? It's sort of time and confidence is sort of what I uncovered from the first part. 
Well, the fear, fear. It, that has just been the huge thing. Um, I, nobody wants to make mistakes. I read that all the time too. Um, and I think it's just a fear of, okay, I've gone this far. It's okay. For instance, the letters I sent yep. out, mm -hmm. if somebody called me, I'd be like, okay, now what do I do? I'm not sure what to do, even though I know what to do because I've read it so yeah. many times. Um, it's the fear of just being alone, I think. And, and there's a ton of real estate people out there that done this on their own, yeah. but the fear of just being alone and what do I do next? And did I do that right? And how do I talk to them and make it sound like I know what I'm saying? You know, just, just the steps of it. Yeah. That's okay. what's, that's what scares me is, is that yeah. I have a job that I deal with people every single day. I've never met before in my life. Um, but I approach them with complete confidence and uh, know what I'm talking about because I've done it for so long, but right. this is a whole new realm for me. And I'm just like, ah, so yeah. That, yeah. that's the thing is the fear, I think, because I am so ready to go after this. It's crazy. Um, but that part of it is, you know, what's the next step and how do I approach it is, is the problem. Okay. So again, so fear, fear is, um, is an interesting one because that's, it's really the fear of making a mistake, right? Or, or mm -hmm. yeah, making a mistake. So the beauty of this is the homework assignment that you've already agreed to is going yeah. to give you the confidence and, and really what, what people are fearful of most of the time is overpaying, right? And, and we're going to fix that because you're going to know the market better than anybody else. It's going to be the thing you focus on, duplexes, tries, and quads. Um, so you're immediately going to start to feel more confident. And then, then it's going to be a question about how do you find a deal, right? Because as you heard from, from April, it's like all she does is network. She wants you to network and find a deal, right? So um, mm -hmm. whether, it's, you know, whether it's doing direct mail or door knocking or, or, what, or just out of the MLS, I still buy half my stuff right out of the MLS. Never pay asking, let's be clear. I, I pay what mm -hmm. makes sense for my model. Um, sure. But, you know, so I think the homework assignment is going to take you a pretty good way in the fear category because you're going to have confidence in your numbers and know what the property will produce. Um, and then as far as what, what's next, that's where we have to ratchet back all the things you're trying, right? Because you can't look to buy out of the MLS and try to flip and wholesale and, you know, all, you know, court you know, or, you know, you know, go to the foreclosure steps or whatever it is. So I think, I think we need to bring some of that activity that's causing stress or maybe filling the day, right? Cause maybe it's like I'm doing something, but it's not really productive. Let's bring right. that all back to the focus. Let's just look at 40 properties, even if they're all out of the MLS, like you can go to realtor.com when we hang up and I'm sure you can find multifamily in your city and you can have a list. You just need to, need to you know, build a spreadsheet, get confidence, drive them and get there. So let's try to stop some of that extra stuff because I think it's, right. it's not tied directly to your next steps. If you know what I mean, mm -hmm. does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, I think that's a good plan, right? I understand what you want. It, it's it, you're willing to invest. Um, we know where you want as far as your goal. We have something you're going to be accountable for. We've tightened your scope a big time. You have a date of the middle of January. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, do you have any questions for me uh, that maybe you had or something you've thought about? Um, well, some of the, I guess, it, again, it would fall into what is the next step. And you okay. told me, let's not worry about that too much right now. But the only other question is, and I read your um, book that you were giving out for free, yep. which was great. I enjoyed it. Um, and I've read how, you know, and I read this in other places, finding the money, you yep. know? Um, and so you have to build a relationship with people that you don't even know yet. So I'm um, not sure how to do that next step. You know, once you find a deal, how do you find the money? Yep. Um, that, that would be the only other thing that would be really um, interesting to talk with you about any time. It doesn't have to be today, of course, yeah. because you've given me one homework assignment that I need to work on. Yeah. But that's really the only other thing is just finding the money, making a relationship with somebody yeah. and, and uh, trust building yeah. all that. Trust yeah. So just real quick, we'll answer. And I think some um, April called it out in her, me her message, right? The two things is keep it simple. And the other one is network. The more and yeah. the, when you right. when you build this confidence, this homework assignment for you and for anybody watching this that does it, 
your confidence level is going to go up and you will just ooze confidence when you're talking about your market and people right. are attracted to that, right? If you go to a meetup and instead of saying, Hey, I'm just looking for a deal, right. And just, right. just, you know, you're the, you're, you're bright and shiny, but you're, you're scaring people away, right? Cause you don't really know what you don't know and <laughs> all of that. But if you go, Hey, you know, I, I'm looking for a two through four, this area, this zip code uh, between these price points, people are going to be like, Whoosh. Oh, wow. She knows what she's looking for. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. and, and then you could go, Hey, I, did anybody see that property on one, two, three, you know, main street? Uh, I thought it was slightly overpriced, but Hey, if you got inside, it's got a cute cupboard or, you know, I don't know. Right. You just start right, right, right. and you will attract a growing network. And many of those will be people looking to lend because uh, sure. as you saw w with April, at some point, most of these people that are doing flipping and wholesaling, they just want to lend because that's, you know, that's, that's the most passive thing. Uh, as mm -hmm. opposed to very active flipping and wholesaling. So um, this homework assignment is going to be good for you. Take it seriously. And uh, I look forward oh, to I seeing, will. What, seeing what you produce. Yeah. Yeah, okay. definitely. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Of course. Just talking to you builds confidence. Awesome. So I can do this. I can do this. Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, very good. Uh, hopefully hope this, uh, thank you for this. I was, it was helpful for me as, as it was for you and hopefully other new investors see it and do your homework. <laughs> I will. I will. All thank right. you so much. You got it.